Lads, bonjour, entrez-vous. I'm in France um, with the Keyses on our annual All Together Now holidays. And I know my life looks like one long um, party slash holiday. I promise you this is the very last of my gallivanting. When I get back to Ireland, I will not be leaving or doing anything or enjoying myself for a very long time. That is my promise to you. So, uh, it's lovely. They're here. You know, Katrina's here from New York. Um, Hannah is here. It's just, and we're in a, a, a big owl house in Provence in a place near Igalier, which, and we were just up this morning at the boulangerie and all of that. And it is like straight out of central casting, you know, adorable French village. Um, it's lovely. <coughs> but yesterday I was in the Sephora near Avignon and I am going to show you. I showed you myself from there and I promised I would show you what I got. So this, this is the bag. Okay, are you with me? Okay, this is the bag. I got four things. Bear with me now. Hum, hum, hum. Oh God, and they were so nice. I always expect French women to despise me and to shout, get out, fatso, you know, but they couldn't have been lovelier. Like they were so, and because my French is very, very rusty. And basically, so I was trying to explain to them um, that I was looking for a concealer for my sunspots. Can you see desperate things here? And, uh, and we had to, you know, and I was, um, then I said, I need Jean, Jean, which is yellow. And they were like, oui, madame, oui. Yes, you're absolutely right. Good woman for re realizing. But anyway, they said it wasn't so much Jean as pêche that I need. So I haven't got a mirror at the minute, so I'm going to try and put some on uh, very badly. It's around there, isn't it? Around there. It's so funny, I don't know if you can hear, but downstairs, Hannah is shrieking and shouting. Not, not in an upset way, just in a, an excited way because she's loving life. Oh God, she's fantastic. Right, I don't know if, I can't see it. I don't know if it's any good, but anyway. So I'm delighted with that. It's of, um, what's that shower? Urban Decay. And I got another thing from Urban Decay, right. I love this. I have. I have used this for beaucoup de années, that means lots of years. And it's eyeshadow, right? But it's sort of sparkly, come out, come out. Uh, and if you wet it, it gets really sparkly. So, um, I'm sorry, you have to tear the box. Isn't that desperate now? Look, sort of tearing the lovely box. Right, right, do you see it? It's sort of sparkly now, but if you wet it and then dab it on with a kind of a flat brush, you have really iridescent lids. It comes in lovely other colours too. I have it in a purple and a green too. And uh, I love this one, but it had all been used and uh, the small bit had broken. Now, I have an illuminator, which is, you know, for the contouring like, you know? So, oh God, it smells lovely. Oh, it smells sort of like chocolate. It's like, um, I, I have it in my normal colour. But I have the fake tan on now, do you see? So I need a darker colour because when I put it on, on my fake tanned face, I look like I have two shiny white stripes of snow down along here. Nobody wants that. And, and then, oh, this was a treat. Oh my God. It is the Fenty, the Fenty foundation. Now, I know I can get this in Ireland, but... I don't know, everything seems more exciting when you're on holidays, doesn't it? You see, and I need foundation for my fake tanned face, do you see? And I have not tried this colour, although they put it on me in the shop and they were like, oh, oui, madame, and they all stood around, like about 20 of them. Oh, certain mont, madame, that is your colour. That is the colour for you. So um, it's, what's the word? It's full coverage. I know because I have it in a lighter shade, um, but now I will have it in a darker shade for May Vacons. So I am literally finalizing my edits. I will probably be finished today or tomorrow. And I feel like I've run the marathon of all marathons, which forgive me, I know that's so self-indulgent. And, uh, and once that's done, I'm going to take the rest of the week off. And, uh, and I have an idea for two more books, which is a giant relief, if you get me. So I hope you're all well. It is effing inferno-like here. But we have air conditioning in the house and there's a pool out there. And it, I am just so, so happy to be with my family. Um, they're just wonderful. Uh, I, I'm so lucky. Um, 
Emma isn't here, which sort of breaks my heart because she's all grown up now and working. But, uh, you know, the rest of them are just so lovely and fabulous. So thank you uh, for all your kindness and everything. And I will be back to you next Monday in Ireland, back to normal, no more gallivanting.